daily devotion with Pastor Bala for October 7th, 2020, from 2 Kings chapter 11, Joash. Verse 1, Now when Athaliah, the mother of Ahazai, saw that her son was dead, she arose and destroyed all the royal family. Why would she do this? Well, she wanted to be like the queen mother and make sure that no one would remove her from king, being queen. She wiped everyone out. However, verse 2, But Jehosheba, the daughter of King Joab, sister of Ahiza, took Joash, the son of Ahiza, and stole him away from among the king's sons who were being put to death. And she put him and his nurse in a bedroom. Thus they hid him from Athaliah, so that he was not put to death. And he remained with her six years, hidden in the house of the Lord, while Athaliah reigned over the land. Joash was hidden. I guess who would miss a little baby? But was hidden in the house of the Lord until the time was right. But while he was being hidden, of course, he was being nurtured and cared for, including not only his nurse, but Jehoiadiah, the priest, also instructed him, at least for seven years, because then the time was right. Verse 4, But in the seventh year, Jehoiadiah, sent and brought the captains of the Karites and of the guards and had them come to him in the house of the Lord. And he made a covenant with them and put them under oath in the house of the Lord. And he showed them the king's son. Now, would the military remain faithful to the king's mother or the king's son in the absence of the king? And by the way, you got to remember the king's mother was the great murderer who wiped out the entire royal family with the exception of one. They chose the king's son. And now there was going to be a 24-hour guard, so to speak, around jo jo Joash. Why? He needed that protection. And that's why these captains were there with their men to bring that added protection. And also a little bit of a surprise. There was more hidden in the temple of the Lord than just Joash. Verse 10. And the priest gave to the captains the spear and the shields that had been King David's, which were in the house of the Lord. Verse 11. And the guards stood, every man with his weapon in his hand, from the south side of the house to the north side of the house, around the altar and the house on behalf of the king. Then they brought out the king's son and put the crown on him and gave him the testimony. And they proclaimed him king and anointed him. And they clapped their hands and said, Long live the king. Well, it's now public. Joash is king. Verse 13. When Athaliah heard the noise of the guard and of the people, she went into the house of the Lord to the people. And when she looked, there was the king standing by the pillar, according to the custom, and the captains and the trumpeters beside the king. And all the people of the land rejoicing and blowing trumpets. And Athaliah tore her clothes and cried, Treason! Treason! Verse 15. Then Jehadiah the priest commanded the captains who were set over the army, Bring her out between the ranks and put her to death with the sword, anyone who follows her. For the priest said, let her not be put to death in the house of the Lord. So they laid hands on her, and she went through the horse's entrance to the king's house, and there she was put to death. Verse 17, And Jehodiah made a covenant between the Lord and the king and 
people, that they should be the Lord's people, and also between the king and the people. Verse 21, Jehoash was seven years old when he began to reign. Talk about a young king. He was kidnapped, so to speak, or hidden when he was near born and for seven years in hiding. Now he's being made king. But of course, he wasn't making all the decisions. We already saw that Jehodiah, the priest of the Lord, was pretty much in command. And Jehodiah knew the importance of being attached to God Almighty. So that's why this special covenant was made. For years and generations, people had disobeyed the Lord and chased after the Baals or other idols. But now this special new covenant would be made, and the people were to be faithful to the Lord God Almighty. And this was a special covenant between God, the king, and the people. For God would be their God, and they would be God's people. This is exactly what God wants. He wants us to be his people. Join me again tomorrow as we hear about rebuilding of the temple. God's peace and many blessings be with you. Thank you for watching, and please take an opportunity to share this video with others. If you have enjoyed these daily devotions, please consider making a donation to Peace Lutheran Church, 24024 West Main Street, Plainfield, Illinois, 60544. Thank you again for watching.